Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I've got my 3x3 three three cards. Um, this is what I did. I, I First I cut them all up. And, and the thing is, is each 6x6 uh, six six paper pad, is, I just took one sheet out from um, each pad. And then I made two. See how this is the inside and then this is the outside. So I did one of this and one of this. Okay, that's the inside. So um, so I'd have a variety of, um, of, of little cards. So that's the first thing I did is cut up all these cards up and see I have several different pads. I have more but you know I, I did the ones that were there. <laughs> were readily available so I cut these all up um, so you just cut it in half I'll show you this Christmas one I did so you get you know you get your six by six and then um, I just cut them in half because it's six by six and it's a little bit bigger because um, they are uh, they have to go into the envelope which is um, three by three so you know you have to make the cards a little bit smaller so anyway I, I then cut them in half and then fold them in half so um, the ones I did you know I'm I'm really slow and in, these are little tiny cards and I was telling Marilyn um, yesterday that um, <laughs> It was taking me so long to make these, and I, you know, I only and look, I only made um, probably twelve of them. <laughs> probably took four hours to make those. And um, can you imagine if I was going to make those really, you know, the big ones, six by six ones? Oh my gosh, it would take me forever because I'm, I don't know. There's so much stuff you have to take out, and then I'm just not into cards, I guess, anymore, unless they're simple. But um. So this is one of the first ones I made because I got this paper over at um, Tuesday morning. Uh, it's a 12 by 12 actually, this one. And I just like the paper a lot. But I didn't, you know, and, and I just, only thing I did was just put this little pom-pom trim and uh, this and the you know, sequin. But I don't, I didn't like the um, red, but that's how it comes. Anyway, so this is a punch. This is a square punch. And um, that's a 3x3, three three, it says. 3 inch, but it's 3 inch diagonal. This way, I guess, is how they measure it. But see, this card is 3 inches. 3x3, three three, but anyway. So I put that in, in there to, um, to write a sentiment or something. And on the back. I have my little teeny tiny card stamp. Isn't it cute? Only thing is, is a little kitty cat looks mad or mean or something. But um, that's the stamp I got from. Um, I ordered this Groupon, and. Um, so that's, this is, I just had it customized for my own, what it said, rather than an address. So I, I put it on my teeny tiny cards. And I got my teeny tiny card idea when I was making a teeny tiny card for Marilyn, because I didn't want to make a big <laughs> card. Because <laughs> it takes me forever and I don't do well with the um, fancy cards. So, um... That's where I got the idea, but I know you guys, I mean, there's a lot of people making the um, three by three cards, but um, anyway. So, um, that's, um, I was trying to find that one, I, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, here it is, okay. So on this one, which is that same um, paper, or oh, I just put that little Chanel piece on there a little lace and then um, I doubled it so it's like that so it's you know rather than have that red which I might do in the future for any more of these but um so 
So that's those. And then I made this one. And I need to put something in there because you can't write on this paper. And I, I did this. This is a quarter of a rosette. And then I just um, connected it and put it on a doily. Some lace. So, um, and then there's this one. Kind of simple, but it takes time even to do the simplest things, doesn't it? So this punch here, I had already had. I got this one that, so I could crochet around it, you know. Um, but it's an oval one. So um, if I crochet it this way, then um, it will be oval this way. I like it. Anyway, so um, that's that one. And then I did this one. Um, I saw them, I did the inside. Oh, and so, see, this is the oval. And I just put that, this is that, that button um, die that I had. I just stuck that on there. Because it's flat. The flatter, the better, I think, on these, on his. This, again, this is the front, though. I made it on the front. So, and then this. Did I show this one? Part of that applique that I just cut apart pieces on, and this is. Did I show you this? This is the um, square, and then those are the heart punches. That this one. This is from Hobby Lobby. This punch. It's a corner punch. It cor it corner rounds the corner and then puts a little heart in it. So that that came out cute. Oh, and I put another little button button die here it's stitched button die so um and then these are a Latilda stack I forgot the name of this stack but it's real simple um and this one I guess I'm a simple kind of gal <laughs> and uh this one And this one, this one I think I, sometimes I make a mistake, oh this one I, I just rounded the corners on, on the, this, on this punch, just did it, I have a corner punch, you know, so, and then this one. which is a little bit more stuff on there, but it's kind of thick, but it goes in the envelope, okay? So those are the cards that I made. Um, you know, it was actually nice. I had put some music on, and then, you know, it all is relaxing. Oh, and then I want to show you this. This punch, this is um, from this. Martha Stewart punch, and so this will get really cute on, on like, you know, probably down here. Probably, but that's kind of cute. I think it's so cute. Or on this one, huh? And then put something on it. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's endless that you can do with those things. Um, and, um, let me see. So, um, I did find that one Christmas stack I showed you, uh, the, this one. So, um, I had this one and then I had the 8x8 eight, eight eight one that I found. So, I did, um, this one that I had. These are not colors that I really like. This one, well, I think it's muted or something. So, I don't know. Um, but, um, I did use that paper again. I think, I love this paper. That's why it looks like a doily. So, I found this at Hobby Lobby. When I got the punch from my mom. The owl punch. And, um, so I bought this. 
this ribbon and put it on there. It needs something else, but you know, all my stuff's put away, so I just found some Christmas stuff. So like I said, I just I just pulled, you know, one from each and then I um I cut it in half my little paper trimmer and so then I got you know these I know I'm showing you guys these things and you, you probably already know how to do it but this one's cute I like this one and um this one's okay this one's all, oh you know the cute one I like is the um uh, well, I'll show you in a second I think I folded it up already. Okay, this one. Isn't that so cute? I like this one. So I folded it up and then I um, made a border. You know, just cut the paper and put that on here like that. I think that's good. Maybe a couple sequins and that'll be good, right, for Christmas? Um, I think these will be good for the for the tags I might not even use an envelope. You know, for Christmas, uh, I'm just like a regular tag. Just put a hole there and um, put ribbon on it and put it on the gift. I think that'd be good. And then um, these are the little cutouts. And then I, I back this with uh, the border. And then I could just stick it on here or one of these. Like that. So. I'm doing some Christmas. Yay! <laughs> so, it's not July. It's end of August, but, um, you know, it's way before Christmas still. Isn't this cute? So, I'll cut all these out. And I can use these. Actually, you can use these as tags, too, I guess. So, those are cute. You know, use what I have, right? So I think that's a good idea. But look at, um, I already have this that I had, you know. So I've got some Christmas stuff in there to use. Ready to go. Um, I cleared off my table. This, um, this is my sewing table. So, um, I cleared it off. So I've got my my sewing machine. Oops, too far. Oh, it's on the side. Right there. I got a new one. Uh, it's industrial type. <laughs> because it's easy to use. My other, I have two other ones here, but they're broken. I don't know. They're too heavy for me to carry to get them fixed. So, anyway. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And that's all I have for you right now. I'm going to, and then the other table I have over there, I cleared it off also because I'm going to do pattern cutting out on this table. And then um, on the other table, I'm going to do some um, resin pieces. And oh, and I want to do some um, fusing, um, paper fusing, and other fusing like other paper and something else and fiber fusing so I'm gonna try those those out but it takes me so long to get started on stuff so um, anyway I'll try to work on another one today and show you next week so you guys have a good Sunday evening and I'll talk to you soon bye